Greetings everyone and welcome. My name is Alfred and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to authenticate your Flutter clients uh, again it's the Laravel APIs using Laravel Passport. We are basically going to create two screens for our Flutter application and one screen will be the uh, login screen and the second screen is going to be the registration screen this one right here so what I'm gonna do I'm going to uh, log in so I'm going to create a new user for our application and what is missing here right now is the password so I'm just going ahead and provide a very simple password like that and I'll go ahead and uh, click on uh, register it tells me that the email has already been taken if I use the email that already exists in the database and what I'm going to do is that I'm going to change this email and instead of that one I'm gonna say me at you dot com and since now I'm here I'm just going to choose one image from my emulator so go ahead and uh, I'll choose the first image you could choose an image or you can just launch your camera and take a photo of yourself. So for me, I'm just going to browse my emulation and I'll pick this image as my profile image. Right, so going ahead and I'll change the phone since I'm now here and I'll click again on the register button. So it registered me successfully and now I am here inside at the login screen. So what I can do in the login screen, I'm just going ahead and uh, put in the email that I used to register my account with. And that was the email and now I'm go going ahead and provide the password that I signed up with. Right, so that's the password. I could check it from here and that's the password that I used during the registration. So I'm going ahead and click on the login button and it's now logged me in inside the application successfully as you can see and now I have my name there and the image that I chose for my uh, uh, profile. So this is the kind of application that we're going to be creating in this session and one thing I want you to get is that it's gonna have um, a, a auto login and logout implementation after the expiry of the token that we get from the Laravel backing and when the token expires we're going to check and we're going to log out the user who is currently logged in uh, the application so for example now this token I've set it to two minutes it means that if the time gets to or oh, 738 then our token will have uh, expired and if we try to reload the application then we should be logged out right so this is the kind of application that we are going to be creating in this session thank you very much for joining me uh, in the preview of the project that we'll be creating uh, I'll see you in the next one where we'll start by creating the flat application